Hi there, thanks for watching Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. In this video, I'm going to respond to a user request. So I created a video that you can see here is called Screenshot Failed Selenium Test. And that video shows you how to take a screenshot anytime that a test fails. And to lastly here is saying, this will take screenshot only at the end of test case. But there are scenarios that we need to take screenshots for every soft assertion failure. Can you make a video when soft assertion fail? Your efforts are really appreciated. Thanks so much to Lassie for this request. Now let's dive in. To illustrate this scenario, I have created a class here called Soft Assertions. In that class, I have created a test called Test Soft Assert. And as you may know about Soft Assertions is that they allow us to check certain conditions on a website without having to stop program execution if an assertion fails. So in essence, we can have multiple soft assertions and the test is not going to stop simply because one soft assertion failed. It is going to run through every single soft assertion that we may have in the test, and at the end of the test, it's going to provide a summary of which one of those assertions failed. So let's see how we typically write a soft assertion. We say soft assert, and this comes from the test and G package, as you can see here. And then we say assertion is equal to new soft assert. And then we can say assertion dot and these are the different things that we can check. We can assert, assert true, assert equals, assert not equals, and so on and so forth. Now let's take a look at what this soft assert class is doing. Here we can see that it has a few methods. But what I want you to take a look at is this here that says extends assertion. If we take a look at this assertion class, this is where the magic happens. As you can see, this is where we're going to find all those methods, such as assert true, assert false, assert equals, and so on. But there's one method in particular here that we can use on assert failure. We can leverage this method right here to decide what we want to happen when a soft assertion fails. So let's see how we're going to do this. First, we're going to create a new class under this utils package. So let's right click this and say new class. We're going to call this class custom soft assert. Then we're going to say extends soft assert. The reason why we're using this extends soft assert is because this soft assert class from testng is the one that is used to make soft assertions. But we're going to make a small change to this class by doing the following. And here we're going to use Java's override annotation. We say add override. Then we're going to say public void on assert failure. This is the method that we want to override in the parent class. If you go back over here, we see that this is the method right here on assert failure. So let's go ahead and grab these parameters here and go back here and we're going to paste them here. Okay, so we're using this subclass to override this method that is located in this parent class. And here is what we want to happen when a soft assertion fails. We're going to say new base page dot take screenshot. Let me show you th what this method is doing here. And as you can see, we take a screenshot and then we give it this name using today's date and time. And this is the method that takes the actual screenshot right here. And we save it in this fail test folder. Now let's go back to this custom soft assert class. This is all done now. We are able to change what happens when a soft assertion fails. We are saying here, go ahead and take a screenshot anytime that a soft assertion fails. Now we are ready to write our test. When we write our test, we're going to use this website, automatenow.io. And we're going to come to this home page and we're going to do two soft assertions on this page. First, we're going to check the title of the page. Then we're going to check this text right here. So let's see how we're going to do that. Okay. We are back at the test here. So here I was using the soft assert from test and G. However, we're no longer going to be using this. So let's go ahead and delete this. And instead we're going to reference the new class that we created. So up here, we're going to say public static, custom soft assert. I'm going to call this soft assert. It's equal to new custom soft assert. Now we can start writing our test. And the first thing we're going to do is grab the page title. This method right here, get page title is going to return that title that we're looking for from the home page. Let's see what this method is doing. And as you can see, all it is doing is it's calling driver that get title. So let's go take a look at what that title is. I'm going to hit F12 here. 
and if I look at the head tag I'm going to see that the title right here it says home dash automate now so let's go ahead and copy this and go back to the code and now we're going to say soft assert dot assert equals and we're going to say page title comma and we're going to paste the title that we expect if it doesn't find it we're going to print title is invalid all right so we're done with the first soft assertion now let's create another soft assertion in this case we're going to grab that message that we talked about this message right here welcome to automate now all right so here we go we're going to say string greeting is equal to homepage dot get welcome message that's going to grab that text that we just saw and then we're going to say soft assert dot assert true greeting dot contains and we're going to say welcome so we're just going to check that this text right here contains the word welcome and the last thing that we're going to do is say soft assert dot assert all and this assert all method is going to make sure that the test fails in the event that any of these soft assertions fails let's go ahead and run this test and see what happens in the first run we see that the test has passed this also means that both soft assertions passed now let's make one of these assertions fail in here instead of saying home I'm going to say homes so this is going to cause this first soft assertion to fail and we should expect at least one screenshot to be taken let's go ahead and run the test the test has run and indeed it failed we see here if we scroll down it says assertion error the following assert failed the title is invalid so this is coming from here the title is invalid if we look over here a new folder was created called fail test let's go ahead and open this folder and here we find the screenshot if we open it up we're going to see a screenshot of the home page let's go ahead and close this and in this case I'm going to make both of these assertions fail I'm also going to add an s at the end of this word here to make this assertion fail let's go ahead and delete this folder that says fail tests and we're going to rerun the test this time we should expect both of these assertions to fail and each assertion is going to take a screenshot so we should find two screenshots in that folder let's go ahead and rerun this test and here we see that the test failed if we scroll down in the console we're going to see that there are two assertions that fail the title is invalid and here is saying expected true but found false meaning that this soft assertion failed over here because we are asserting true now let's go ahead and take a look at the screenshots and indeed we find two screenshots one for each of the failed soft assertions if I open these up they are both going to contain the same image but this is just an example you can apply this to an example of your own in which you will get distinct screenshots as always you can find a link to the source code in this example in the video description and if you have any questions please don't forget to leave them in the comment section thank you so much for watching automate now if you're not a subscriber yet please hit that subscribe button and also like the video thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.